And more and more in the last few months, I've been developing an ability uh, with emotions, just like notice that it's an emotion and, and not get attached with it, or at least certainly increase the amount of the attachment. Uh, but today, I've been feeling very, very tired. Mm -hmm. And as I started meditating, I started noticing, oh, I've got a whole story about this being tired. Um, I'm very attached to this being tired. I'm worried about this being tired. And what if this? And what if that? And so on and so on. I thought, oh, this is like, I can perhaps work with this like I work with emotion. But it was no letting go. It, it just kept being real. Mm -hmm. um, and yet I had difficulty even locating the tiredness. Like, like it's not even like necessarily a physical sensation. So I'm so aware that it's a story. I'm so aware that I'm making a problem out of some small amount of physical sensation. Um, have you got any words of wisdom about releasing the physical stuff? Well, uh, so it's, it's physical tiredness that you're talking about? Physical tiredness. And you can feel it in your body. Well, I can feel it, but I think mostly it's a whole big story. Mm -hmm. There's a certain little bit of uh, slowness and dullness, uh -huh. but I think mostly it's a story. Right. Mostly it's, what if this, and oh, I'm going to have to deal with that, and eh, 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 eh. <laughs> So I, I, I'm not, I'm, I don't buy it now, yeah. and yet I can feel like I'm not releasing from it either. Yeah. Well, so that's wonderful that you can see how there's a little bit of feeling uh, in your body and your mind makes up all this story about it. It's really great just, just to see how that works. Yeah, you become aware of it. Yeah, I mean, all, all day it's been real. Right. <laughs> um. The other thing to notice, though, is your non-acceptance of it. You're wanting it to... Be different. Yeah. Or go away. Not be there. And is there maybe a little bit of judgment about the story too? Well, once I noticed that it was not real, yeah. then I should be able to release from this. Yeah, should right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I, I thought I knew better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that my yeah, experience, <laughs> yeah, my experience for the last couple of months is when I notice then I'm getting better and better at releasing. Yeah. So this time I noticed, and and so I thought, oh, well, maybe physical stuff is different. Maybe I better ask and see. <laughs> <laughs> because it is true that I have not tried to with anything physical. And I even sort of did like a little catalog. It's like, oh, yeah. And I, when, when as I'm getting older, my body gets sore more easily. I've been holding on to that too, and then I started sort of thinking, yeah, there's a whole yeah. bunch of series of physical stuff yeah. that I'm kind of attached to. That this would be very useful for me to be able to release from this as well. Yeah. Well, and, and it is, but the, to get to achieve a release from that, you have to accept it. Yeah. yeah. So. So you have to let that mindful awareness continue to be free, flying, soaring, eagle-like, rather than getting snagged down into the uh, reactions to it. That's really good. Yeah, to watch that, watch that, and and, and and to recognize the subtler layers of attachment that there are. There, you know, you can become attached to being able to let go of things. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to let go of that attachment too. <laughs> so, yeah. Absolute, absolute freedom is absolute non-attachment. <laughs>